Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to uh, see how to store the data in HDFS and uh, query it using Apache Impala. So um, this is all. This video is also a part of the assignment uh, in the Big Data course offered here at uh, University of South Florida. So uh, the data we're using for this assignment is uh, uh, downloaded from kaggle.com and this is uh, about the ODI cricket matches which are uh, which have happened in the time frame 1971 to 2017. Let's go ahead and uh, take a quick look at the data. We can see that like we have a scorecard which is the n number given to the match. So team one and team two which are participating in the match and uh, the ground and then the team which won in the first winnings or second innings that kind of information so match date uh, winner host country whether it was a away match or a home match for them and uh, yeah so basically that kind of data we we have this information let's go ahead and quickly upload this data into hdfs and uh, uh, try querying the data so uh, before we upload into HDFS, we need to understand what HDFS is. It's a key part of many uh, Hadoop ecosystem technologies as it provides a very reliable means for managing pools of big data. And it also uh, supports a lot of big data applications. It's basically a file system for um, uh, Apache Hadoop applications, we can say. So, uh, and uh, what you guys are seeing over here is Hue Browser. Uh, Hue is a web interface for uh, analyzing data with Apache Hadoop. It's more like a UI uh, to query the data and see what's going under the hood. Um, so we can install this on any PC uh, with any Hadoop version. Um, yes, so in the file browser, you can see that I uploaded that file already um, in the uh, file browser. And then I'm going to, uh, I, I have already created a temporary table called uh, Cricket. Uh, db and then um, I've, I've loaded the data into that using the uh, file which i just showed you guys over here and uh, so you can see in cricket db the same columns which we just saw in the uh, uh, excel sheet that i showed you a while ago so uh, here are a couple of uh, assign uh, assignment questions that i'm going to execute and the query language what i'm using for this particular assignment is apache impala so it's an open source Massively parallel processing uh, SQL query engine for the data stored in uh, computer clusters which are running Apache Hadoop. Like we can say that it's very similar to uh, our traditional SQL, uh, basically. Uh, but this is for the big data, uh, you know, the data stored in HDFS kind of applications. So it's very simple and almost looks similar to SQL. So we can see the first question is asking us to count the total number of teams. Um, so if you do a count distinct on scorecard uh, column and run, we'll know that like uh, what are the total uh, number of matches or ODIs played during that time frame. We, we see that it was 3747 and uh, total number of uh, teams which played, we can just simply do the same operation on one of the uh, teams column. So we'll know that uh, the count distinct, of, count distinct of the columns, we see that it is 23. So going on, uh, moving on to the third question, which team won the most ODIs during the time frame? So uh, this is an again, uh, one more simple query. Just what I'm doing over here is select count of the winner and I'm trying to group by winner and order by the count. And then like, I'm just giving a limit of one to uh, see just the first top result. And we see that uh, Australia has won 104 matches and we we all know Australia sort of dominated for a couple of decades and in, in the given time frame. So the next question, which team won the most ODIs during each decade? So yeah, and uh, we can see uh, that from one of the queries, each decade is this one. So what I'm doing here is, uh, for every decade, I'm uh, writing one query and then just trying to uh, execute all the queries using union all. So basically union all is going to give us uh, the individual results of queries. Uh, we, we'll see that in a while. 
I'm running this on the VM so uh, we can see that like see the results over here in a while I'm giving the uh, filter using a where clause where year of match date just gives us a year which is greater than 1971 and less than or equal to 1980 which basically takes the number of matches which happened in that decade and I'm doing the same operations count of winner and winner I'm just like uh, ordering that by uh, count and just taking the top one row so that I have just one entry for each decade so it's gonna take some time to execute I guess uh, And so we have the results here that for each decade we can see the total number of matches, um, the highest winner for that particular decade. So uh, similar operation what we have to do in the fourth question over here is which team won the most uh, home away games. So uh, it is just another modification of the uh, query we just executed. Uh, we can see here that it just uh, I need to include winner which is not equal to host. Uh, so in the what this does is it just takes the winner column and then uh, matches with uh, host country if it's not equal then it's away game so yeah if with that filter if I execute this query using union all uh, it's just gonna give us the same results what uh, what we are expected to see in that so uh, that's it for today guys we saw how to store the data in HDFS query using uh, Impala and I uh, hope you uh, had a very good uh, learning from this and then Yes, that's it for today. Uh, all the best.